hello programmers spider is back with one another video so in this video we are going to see about a scraper api so what is this scraper api and all things we are going to learn in this video so before starting the video i just want to tell that if you have not visited our machine learning hub youtube channel then just visit it you will get a lots of tutorials regarding open cv deep learning machine learning python web scraping so there are lots of content available with tutorial explanation and code so you can see all the content available on my channel so now without wasting time let's start the video so around two days back two or three days back i have just posted a uh, one uh, post it is about a scraper api so first of all what is this scraper api so the the name says about all like what is scraper so as a programmer we all know what does mean by scraping so it is related to the web scraping now what is this web uh, web scraping so in one word i'm just going to explain you like uh, there is a one website right so we just want to fetch that website information website data and we want to use that data in our application in our project or in our uh, in our website also like uh, if, if you going to see the example there is a google jobs if you are going to do, see the google jobs then there are already data which is available of other site like nokri.com job.com yeah there are uh, shine.com so what they are doing they are just fetching the job info and they are uh, displaying these all jobs into their pages right into google pages and if you are going to click on their job it will redirect to the original owner side means it is redirect if you, it is sponsored from the nokri.com then it will redirect to nokri.com right so this is the simple meaning of the web scraping right so now we are going to learn about what is scraper api so scraper api is what this is the simple api which is useful for uh, web scraping right so there are lots of tools available for the web scraping so scraper api is one of them tool right but web uh, this scraper api have a lots of functionalities right so let's see some of the functionality like it is uh, it have a simple web dashboard so first of all what you need to do if you want to understand this uh, then there is a link is a link in description of this scraper api you can visit the site so now in this site all the things are mentioned like api documentation scraping integration tutorials if you have a question regarding this right so as a, if you uh, for uh, for running this scraper api you need to have a one api key so you will get api just you need to click a sign up here right so you can as a, do sign up from the google account or you can create your other account from here and you will get a 5000 free api calls right so with this 5000 api calls what we can do right so i'm going to explain each and each and every step like how we can use this scraper api in this video right so first of all what we need to do right so before uh, learning we all we all know what is the process if you are going to learn any new thing right what you need to do you just need to create a, uh, you just need to read the api documentation right but before reading the documentation just click here and you just need to create the account you can do google uh, means create account with good, uh, github and google right so my account is already created and i have this api code right so this is a simple api code if you want to make the api request right so some of the people are don't know how what is the api api means application programming interface uh, so how api is working so if you uh, let's take a real time world example right if you are going to the any restaurant uh, you want some food right so you are not going to take over the food from the kitchen if the cook is uh, creating some food for you right he is cooking uh, they are cooking some food for you right so there is a one thing is available in restaurant which is called waiter so what waiter will do waiter will take a order from you right and uh, they send this order to kitchen now cook made this food and now once again waiter go there uh, take this food and come back to you so that's how so here we in this example we can consider waiter is a one kind of the api so what api can uh, take from us it is it's depend on the api right so yeah as an example api will take first of all authentication like uh, if a api need obviously some security reason it will take a one api key and then another thing which data you want from that site so what the uh, api will take both the things go to the direct site and fetch that information and one after the fetching the, all the information 
uh, if they success then it will come back to you with all the data which you want so that's how api is working so this is a simple example of api right so this is my uh, means uh, so first of all in scraper api documentation what they are providing so let's see so first of all it have the amazing dashboard you can see here it you will get uh, all the information right if you want support you and you can contact sales department documentation billing if you are going to purchase then uh, there is a spidey 10 code uh, here which is mentioned in description you will get a 10 percent of the uh, discount from this uh, means if you are going to purchase you will get a 10 percent of discount if you are applying spidey 10 code so link is below right so you will get uh, this graph and amazing dashboard from scraper api now there is a one other thing you will get a 5000 request as a free account uh, then 24 into 7 uh, 24 by 7 uh, support is there now one another thing is that uh, there is a if you are going to web scraping right so there are already bots available into site if you are going to do scraping on a particular site repeatedly uh, repeatedly time so they can block your ip right so if you are creating some particular application then this is not good for you so this scraper api have lots of things like uh, it will create uh, uh, rotating in a sticky, uh, I mean, kind of the sticky IP session. Even it is have the, I mean, it is have the country functionality. Uh, the documentation is proper and setup is means easy to installation. Installation is just you just need to install the SDK, right? And even it can render the JavaScript pages. And the most important thing, it is available with the, all the languages. So all the languages. Let's see the documentation. So you can see Python, Node.js, PHP, Ruby, Java, right? So for the like uh, obviously we are Pythonish, so I'm going to go. I means I'm just going to implement it with Python. So that's how you can uh, implement this API, right? So first is the example with the request. So with request library, you can just make a call with the API, and you will get a response like this. So all the examples are mentioned below, right? So these all are the with the request. But I always prefer go with the SDK. So you what you need to do, you need to just write this uh, pip install scraper api sdk into command prompt right like this is already available here so it will install the library and here you need to apply the ap uh, api key real time so let's see the example so few days back i have just uh, around a week ago i just created one movie recommender system right so in this movie recommender system you just need to select a movie on based of that movie it will recommend a lots of movies right so these all are data coming from the IMDB site with the scraper API, right? Like movies, poster, uh, director information, cast information, story, total rating count, and IMDB rating, right? So these all are things. All things are coming from the IMDB original site, and it is all are done by the scraper API, right? So now we are going to see the example how the scraper API is working with real time and real time programming. So let's see. So just uh, open the PyCharm. So from Scraper API, import Scraper API client. We need to initialize SDK here. For the scraping and finding, we can import the beautiful soup. Uh, then URL dot request. We are opening the URL. Uh, means we are just getting the URL open. Then IO and then PIL dot image. I will explain each uh, explain all the things later. Now first of all, we need to initialize the uh, uh, user. So client is equal to Scraper API client and you just need to paste your api key here right now i'm going to create one function def movie poster feature with the poster it it can uh, set the, all the information of the movie then you just need to place the imdb link here like this in function call you just need to press the IM, uh, paste the imdb uh, movie link now we need to call the website using sdk what you need to do now client is already initialized client dot get now in dot get you just need to pass your url here right and dot text so it will fetch the all the information uh, into text format so if you want to see let's uh, see the real life example so i'm just creating one other file so from scraper api import scraper api client right now I need to initialize the client is equal to scraper API client right I need to initialize my key here
now website data right so client dot get now in this gate i need to pass the url so now just for a, a testing purpose we are passing this sql and uh, documentation of the knn right we just need to pass this link and dot text now print data so all this side data will be in our console okay we got all the data like javascript what the html design they have used like meta all the things are available here right so now i want to uh, do some search here right like if i want to find particular data like uh, this one right parameters of the knn okay so i'm just finding this n neighbors so let's see how it is working you just need to paste this here Okay, might be this code is coming from the JavaScript. Uh, we can even search this like key neighbors classifier. So let's see. You can see SQL and neighbors dot classifier documentation. You can see this is the our title. Title tag. Now let's see. An estimator is uh, I think n neighbors. Okay, right. It is not estimator. Okay, n neighbors is also there. then default value so after that uh, default value all the things are mentioned here right like weights so let's see for the weights okay so that's how we can fetch this information right so same thing i have used for the imdb scraping so what i have done i have just uh, called the imdb url from this and then now i need to scrap the information right so we need to search the particular thing right so let's see example uh, like i'm going to this look at this url already i have this op open this url what you need to do just you need to click on the inspect element now you will get all the information like if i want to uh, get this information right so you can just uh, scroll through here so you can access all this class information with this like i'm going to use okay now i want this information right so what you need to do you just need to come here control f and control v okay so you will get this information this uh, class name like description right this meta tag in meta tag the name is description so that's how you can uh, fetch the information and original id is og description so that's how we fetch the if you if i want to fetch the movie title then property is og title for the description for property is the uh, og description for this uh, movie poster properties og poster right so that's how i fed the id so now let's understand this code now client dot get i fed the uh, data of this site then beautiful soap url data and html parser uh, with this we uh, we can find the particular ids into our data so imdb db first of all i need to initialize the uh, means i need to get the poster so as yes, data means our web scrap data dot find meta tag in meta tag there is a og image so in og image let's see what is this og image so you just need to find the og image now in og image there is a url url of this poster okay so i just need to copy it Okay, I have just copied the full. Okay, let's see in this URL. Uh, this uh, poster is stored, right? So I we just need uh, we just need to fetch this URL. So how we can fetch? So our URL data is stored, right? But it will be full information into tag. Just I want the content. So then you just need to pass this attribute and content. Now we need to open that URL because we need to download that uh, DP first of the movie poster first. So movie poster. Uh, we just need to pass that link here and we just need to read that url after the reading that data uh, we, we need to open that image using pil and then by with io dot bytes io so because the data will be uh, convert means the raw data will be converted into bytes and that uh, that data can easily open by pil and now after that image dot save movie poster dot jp so it will save the poster like this right so now we need to get the title of the movie 
so as it's the same we are using as underscore data find meta property og title right to id is og title we can just find the uh, title with this now another is og description i want a description of the movie so as data dot find og description and now yeah now instead of this uh, i'm just placing the story here so it will look like a story now fed the director information right so movie description is a one kind of the list okay so on the zero zero element it stored the uh, movie director information right so i just need to access that information for the director fetch cast so on the one index there is a cast uh, information is available but instead of the width i am just uh, placing the cast so it will look a particular and i am auditing all these thing after the function end now i am just calling this once again so these all are things are using the web scraping and scraper api and beautiful soap so you can see spiderman 3 directed by sam raimi cast so instead of the cast it is written with there but instead of with cast is looking proper right so that's how we fetch the real time information even dp is also downloaded okay so let's see on the some other like uh, for this spiderman 3 the another recommendation is crispy don't worry guys i will make a separate tutorial on this movie recommendation site okay so now just we are trying on this url okay now krish director by rakesh roshan cast is rithik roshan priyanka chopra stories you can see krishna is uh, blah 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 so that's how our web scraping is working and that's how we use the scraper api so if you want to uh, if you want uh, to deep dive in web scraping this scraper, scraper api is very useful for you even if you want to purchase the plan you can purchase it from the below link you can uh, use the my referral code from the below so you will get a discount right even for a free you will get a 5000 free calls of the api so you can get this call you just need to do a login uh, i mean sign up on their site so that's how you can uh, use the scraper api and if you want if you don't comfortable with the python you can use the node js php ruby all the tutorials are available here right all with the code one all the things are explained here like customize api functionality render premium session number key headers device type auto parse So there are lots of things available into Scraper API. Scraper API. What you need to do, you just need to deep dive into it, and you can create an amazing web scraping. Uh, means web scraper API. Uh, means uh, not API. You can create uh, your site using web scraping. Like I, which the site which I have developed. All this data coming from the IMDb, right? Still, it is looking better. When you can see, if I am going to, uh, you can see the speed of the some movie fetching, right? I am just. selecting the anman 3 movie right actually this is deployed on the herago app uh, you can see all the data are coming instantly anman 2 recommendation x men so you can see recommendation is also good and all this data are uh, came you can see five thumbnails which is already in hd format director information cast story all these things are coming using this scraper api right so guys that's all for the today video i have just, i just explain the how this scraper api is working uh, all the even if you want if you want to read the more benefits of it you can read it my own post so thank you guys uh, if you want if you have any question regarding this i can explain it to you in comment section so go to scraper api site and check the uh, just you need to check the documentation you just need to do login if you want to purchase a plan then just go for it So guys thank you for the listening me see you in the next one so until that be safe keep coding